I'm Arisma and I am a second year medic at King's and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about how you can secure both online and in-person work experience for your med school application. If you haven't checked out our previous video make sure you do and I will link it above and in the bio below. We talk about what med schools expect from you in terms of work experience and what they've officially said about this. We also answer your questions about work experience such as do I need to pay for work experience and is working at my local care home enough so make sure you check out that video before starting this one. This is the second video in our work experience series and in the next video we're going to be talking about how you can reflect on your work experience, arguably the most important part of this entire process. So let's get started. Our first top resource for securing work experience is our very own work experience bank that you can find on our website. We have a whole list of online and in-person work experience opportunities that you can find um, that are really useful for your med school application. So the first thing is the RCGP's Observe GP program. This is an online program delivered by the Royal College of GPs specifically targeted towards sixth form students who are planning to apply to med school. So they have a whole range of videos that will make you more familiar with what a GP's job is is, what the NHS is all about and so on and this is a very widely recognized work experience opportunity especially because it is an official one from the Royal College of GPs. Another really popular work experience program is the Brighton and Sussex Medical School Work Experience Program. So this is provided by the university itself and again is online and very, very useful and popular. We also have some volunteering opportunities on the website, including Do It and Age UK. And other opportunities that we have listed include St. John's Ambulance, which is a first aid service. And you will be trained in first aid and CPR and you will be able to help out people and volunteer there. Again, very widely recognised, very popular and very easy easily accessible and you can also get involved with the NHS through the NHS England Youth Forum and the Royal Voluntary Service and more information on all of this is found on our website where we also link to these specific experiences and you can learn more about them. But the next resource that I'm going to be talking about is SpringPod. SpringPod hosts a whole list of online work experience opportunities, volunteering opportunities, apprenticeships and so on and you will find a lot of opportunities from actual NHS trusts. Um, if you just search up in the employer section NHS you will find lots of work opportunities that are again targeted towards sixth form students to get an idea of what a career in medicine is all about um, and what a day in the life of a doctor looks like and remember this is what the royal colleges this is what medical schools want from you they've explicitly stated as seen in our previous video that they want students to have an understanding of the profession and that is what all of these online courses can give to you however an important thing to remember about SpringPod is that you will have to apply for these roles and these work experiences experience opportunities and there are application deadlines so make sure you look up the different programs write down the application deadlines in your diary and make a good application for these programs. My third resource is actually just to check out the Royal College websites. So each specialty will have its own Royal College. So the Royal College of GPs, the Royal College of Pediatrics, the Royal College of Psychiatry and so on. And so my advice would be to just go onto these Royal College websites and usually they will have resources for aspiring medical students. And if not aspiring medical students, they will definitely have resources for medical students. And so you can go through all the information on their website and see if they have any resources for you any tips any advice any actual programs so for example if you go to the rcgp website you will find the program i was talking about earlier called observe gp um, and various other royal college websites also have other resources tips booklets to help you out even if it isn't work experience you can go through the information on the website and see if you can learn anything from it number four i would recommend looking at your local universities and whether any medical related societies are running conferences and have events specifically for sixth form students for instance i go to king's and recently we had a pediatrics conference at our university and they had a specific um event for six form students about how to ace their med school application how to um address interview questions how to make their personal statement better and so on and they had workshops all afternoon for six form students so definitely keep an eye out for that these events are usually um advertised on facebook or instagram so as long as you know what your local med schools are you can go to their facebook and instagram and check if there are any events 
events for sixth formers or even just email them message them check if anything's happening there's no harm in reaching out now number five is to contact your local gps so just writing letters writing emails to your local gps um not the gp in your hometown however because that would raise issues of confidentiality but just writing emails to gp practice managers that are close by to you and asking them if it's all right if you can come in and shadow a doctor there now be prepared that you will face a lot of rejection uh, people might say no people might simply just not reply to your email and that's all right that is something that is unfortunate but something that we have to get used to you may face a lot of rejection but don't let that affect you write as many emails and letters as you can and hopefully one or two of them will reply and you will get some work experience with them if not we've already mentioned so many different ways how you can get online work experience which are popular and well recognized by medical schools so that should be enough number six you can also do the same thing with consultants so look at hospitals around you go to their consultant directory which can be found on their hospital website and just email consultants that you would like to shadow in these emails both to GP practice managers as well as consultants talk about why you want work experience with them what you're hoping to gain out of this experience is it gonna be a week a day um, kind of describe what you would like from them and make your goals pretty clear in the email or the letter also talk about why you've chosen that specific practice or hospital and um, why you want to shadow that particular doctor and if you are emailing a consultant you can also talk about why you chose that specific speciality if you have any interests in that and how is it going to help you as an aspiring medical student number seven is to just search up online work experience for medicine on google and you will definitely find so so many resources on there that you can explore that you may not have heard of before so a simple google search can actually be super useful number eight is to email and call up your local care homes ask if they need any help ask if you can volunteer with them and this also counts as work experience because because again, remember, um, medical schools want students who understand what a profession in care is all about. They want you to express empathy and care and respect and they want you to learn what a profession in care is all about, not necessarily a profession in medicine itself. So working in a care home is a great way to develop these skills of empathy, communication, teamwork, respect and so on and that is what medical schools are really looking for. And lastly, number nine is to call, email or just go into your local optician or pharmacy and ask them if they need any help, explain to them that you're an aspiring medic and you're looking for some work experience and this is what students have been doing for a really long time so they most likely would not be surprised if you just go in and ask them about medicine work experience they've probably helped out students before so this is a really good idea and although this isn't actually shadowing a doctor these roles are very closely linked to what doctors and healthcare professionals do and so it's really useful to get an understanding of how all these different healthcare professionals um, are interlinked and how they work together in a team and you can learn a lot about a multidisciplinary team a very popular concept in medicine as well as teamwork leadership communication and so on through these experiences and medical schools are looking for the skills you develop through these experiences and not the actual quantity of the experience and not the actual specific experience itself it's more about what you make from these experiences how you reflect on them and what skills you learn from them which is something we will be covering in our next video we hope you found this video useful and we'll see you in the next one Bye. Check out our free work experience guide for the most up-to-date and best advice on how you can secure online and in-person work experience. We've also got personal statement examples from our medical student tutors at all of the UK's medical schools, including Oxford, Cambridge, UCL and many more.